Well, hello there all the way across the pond in England. This is uh, Rodney of Rodrigo's Recycled Art welcoming all of Miss Robinson's 4CR class. Here's to you. Now I'm going to show you around my studio a little bit of the fun and some of the things that I make and some of the things that I use to make my art. And as I do this, I'm going to ask you a few questions. So here we go. Yep, it doesn't matter. We use old cheese graters, bunch of screws, bolts, nuts, all kinds of doodads. And uh, pretty soon it starts to look like this. And uh, people like your fishies, they buy them. And they support you as an artist. So I guess the number one question I always ask kids is always the same how many planets do we have and that answer should be one we have one good one and you know how to support that planet well I believe support is taking stuff that people are throwing away and somehow reinventing it into art but that's just the way I do it what you got to do in your life is you got to look around and just see how much trash there is and how much of that bad polluted trash like plastics end up in the ocean and rivers and lakes and streams and really ruin the environment. Not only do they ruin the environment, but they kill a lot of our critters. A lot of the animals are killed every day because of all man's pollution. So my result and my most important thing I got to say to you is fun make it fun you know you're all at school now you probably some of you really like it some of you don't like being there but the reality is get an education and while you're there start to look at the things that you like to do in your life and if art is one of them why not try this recycled art stuff out and see if it works for you because the reality is there's a lot of ways to go about it and a lot of things you can make from trash. As you see, and I do a lot of my work out of old broken surfboards and boogie boards. And I use uh, a lot of times in the bases of my work, I'll use, uh, I think you guys call it um, veneer. We call it plywood here in California. And wherever they're building homes and making things happen, you know, like new houses and that, well, I end up when they're getting ready to finish up and they start throwing away all this stuff. And I take it and I reinvent it. And this is some of the fun I do. I love trash and I love making art from trash. And here's a poster. Maybe you can read it. A jellyfish. Some more fish. Here's a skateboard. Some altars. There I am. Hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> We're going to walk out here. And here uh, you can see I took all this throwaway granite and slates that they throw away when they make sinks. And I made all the floors for my little art gallery out of trash. Here's some of the, the fish. You can start to get an understanding that things that you use every day that you throw away, even old toys, anything, all can be used. Here's a bunch of saw blades. Old paint brushes, nails. Look at this guy. Whoa, look at those teeth. Wouldn't you hate to have to brush those teeth? <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to, to welcome you to your Recycled Art Project Week, and I do hope that somehow all of this stuff will inspire you to go forward, be creative, be good stewards of the arts, good stewards of the world, and make, make fun via making art, because every little thing you do in life counts. And if one piece of art changes everything for one person, you've done a good thing.
So to all you four CR kids, I'm taking my hat off and hanging it back up right here. And remember, always remember your ABCs. Always be cool. <laughs> Adios.